When you go to another planet, there's just so much potential for making brand new discoveries. I'm actually putting something together that's flying to Mars. One way or another, you're going to be on the ground in seven minutes. We want it to be there safely. My name is Heather Bottom, and I'm helping prepare the spacecraft that will fly our next Mars rover to the Martian surface. My name is Diana Trujillo, and I work with robotic arms to collect samples on Mars. I'm Al Chen, and I lead the landing team for Mars 2020. My name is Michelle Tommy Colizzi. My name is Mujige Stricker. My name is Jared Tagadon. My name is Katie Stack Morgan, and I'm helping to protect the next Mars rover. Mars 2020 will be seeking signs of ancient life in the rock record of Mars. What we're trying to do is to rove around the surface of this unknown planet. Collect samples. Process the tubes as they come back. To look for things that we call biosignatures. So that eventually we can bring those samples back to Earth and determine for the very first time, did life exist on Mars? but also where could it be preserved for four more billion years for us to find it. Before the rover actually flies, you have to make sure that everything works properly with the flight software and the hardware. And we hit the atmosphere going, you know, 12, 13,000 miles per hour. Path of the journey through space, through the vacuum. We try to test all of our hardware to the environments that we would see. So that's where a lot of the testing happens uh, behind me. We spend lots and lots of hours here testing everything. It gets put in an oven, it gets put in various chambers and clean rooms. So what we can see over here is the stacked spacecraft. The robotic arm is actually right behind me. This is the place where the magic happens. This is the Mars yard, and this is where our rovers practice driving over rocky terrain. There are hundreds of people that have to come together and build a spacecraft. You kind of have to put those different pieces together and make sure that those pieces all are going to work. And I feel like such a lucky person to be working on this. Everything that you're touching, all this hard work that you're putting in, in the long hours. 20 years, your children will be reading this in their science book. It feels great. <laughs>